Hey guys, Andres here. Today we are working on this 2002 Lexus ES300 and I'm getting a few codes that are telling me that this car is running way too lean. So what this means is that our engine is getting either way too much air or it's not getting enough fuel. The first thing I did was clean this sensor. This sensor tells the computer to bring more air or less air. And as you're going to see, this sensor was very, very dirty. And many times this fixes the engine code. But in my case, I had one pretty big vacuum leak and I also had a few hoses that were just all and needed to be changed. Something to keep in mind is that this code can come up for a few other causes. The most usual is a vacuum leak, but I've seen cases that sometimes the engine is not getting in enough fuel. So just keep in mind that there are other causes and there are also other solutions as well. So now you're going to see the leak that I had as I'm pointing at it. And it's pretty big, so a lot of the air was leaving the system before getting to the engine. Our first step is to remove the air box. And as you can see, there is two bolts, both are 10 millimeters. And we're going to remove the whole box with the air filter. That way we can access the piece that we want to fit. And I'm also going to change the other piece in the other side. We also need to remove any air hoses attaching to these air bots. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the other piece where the air goes through and just go left to release the tension. I'm also replacing this piece given that I'm replacing the other one. This is also a great time to vacuum the air box. These are three hoses that I replaced as well with another one in the back. Now we just need to remove the clamps from the old pieces to the new pieces for both of the pieces that we we're replacing. The reason we also replace another piece is because of this. This other piece is already starting to crack as you can see here. Be patient while you start putting these pieces back together. Just take your time and eventually you'll be able to get them both. I struggled the most with this first piece, but the second one was a lot easier.
Now we just increasing the tension in the clamps. That way this piece stays together while we store the other one. Let's make sure that we install this the right way. This piece has a little hole right here that goes with this plastic piece right here in this side next to the sensor. And that's how we want to install this piece. Now that we have almost everything put back together, we need to put all the sensors back and also all the hoses. Now we just need to tie off the bolts that actually holds the airbots together. It's always good to always take a last look and make sure that you look over everything that you did and just to make sure that you didn't miss any hoses and that everything looks good just like the way we started. I also took the opportunity to replace a few hoses that were just all and had holes and were creating vacuum leaks. After a few days of driving, I checked the codes and the codes were gone. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys found this useful. Have a good one.